in this video we are going to see that how to make this pattern in this uh, in this model in Rhino okay and this model is uh, actually this building is not a perfect cylinder it's kind of a cylinder which is compressed at the center so uh, let's see how to make this model first then we'll check out how to make the pattern on the surface of the model okay so before we go into the video always check through the units so i'm keeping my working units as meter so as i said before first i'm going to do the model that is the surface uh, cylindrical surface so i am drawing a line that is our i am just choosing vertical option so i want the line should be placed on the center so i am giving 0 comma 0 as the start point and the end point giving a value of 60 meters now i am drawing another line perpendicular to it with a 10 meters span so I'm just copying it so I'm double clicking the perspective tab to minimize and access the front tab so I'm just accessing the front tab so I'm using a arc which has start end and point so I'm placing the start point and now I'm giving the end point now I'm just adjusting so I'm just turning off the auto so sorry I'm just turning off the auto command so I need so I'm just placing a the point in randomly which is proportional so I'm just using a command revolve selecting the curve which want to be revolved and selecting the axis I need in this axis which should be revolved Revolving in this axis, so I am just selecting this axis and giving the option full circle. So, I got the surface, but I don't see it because it is in wireframe. So, I am just changing the option to share it so I can see the surface which is created. So, I go the surface which I want. So, now I want that pattern on this surface. So, before I uh, so I am just taking this surface and then giving the option UV curves and giving enter so UV curves is similar it extract the surface and make it into a two dimensional figure so when you measure the area of this surface and measuring the area of this surface both will be equal so now you get the understanding so that now we can draw the pattern then we can assign the pattern to to this surface okay this is the procedure so i'm just drawing the pattern for drawing the pattern i'm just exploding this rectangle and i'm using the curve and giving a value of 32 so i just divided these two lines with the 32 so it gives numerous number of points with the spacing equal spacing so I'm using polyline now. So I'm drawn a di diamond. So I'm just exploding this line also. Then I'm deleting this line. Now the point is not necessary. So I'm just selecting all the points with this select point option. Then I'm deleting all the points. Now I'm using array. So it is asking to select the object. So I'm just selecting the line and and the number of items 32. And it asking the reference point. The reference point is this point and giving a distance around this. So I go the line and I'm deleting this line which exceeded the box. So now I'm selecting all the lines and using extend command. So I'm uh, extending this line to this. So 
so I'm just extending all the lines So I'm just adding this. So I'm just selecting all the lines and uh, pressing Ctrl. I'm just unselecting this rectangle. So now I'm using mirror command. So I'm just clicking the mirror command in the center. So I so I can get the diagonal lines. That is the pattern which should be placed on the surface so so i run the pattern right so now i'm just deleting these two lines which is just not necessary now i need a surface so i run the surface and i'm just deleting the other two lines which i used to create this surface so i'm just deleting it so now I draw on the pattern I am I am having a base surface and this is the target surface so the lines on this on this surface should be placed in the surface so that's our ultimate goal so I am just using flow along curve okay here it is so I mean flow along surface you can use this or you can type from the command prompt and get the command so I am just clicking it so it's asking the object so object is the line so i'm unselecting the surface so i'm i just given the object as the pattern line so i'm pressing enter now it's asking the base surface and this is the base surface and now it's asking for the targeted surface and i'm giving the target surface as the surface so you got the pattern right so you got the pattern so when i select this pattern actually it is not entirely joined you see so we need to join these lines so control J so like that I am selecting so I am selecting all the lines So I selected uh, on axis all the lines and now I am using Ctrl J so the lines has been joined so if you want you get a signature so I miss these two lines so I am joining so the lines has been joined so now I am just drawing I am just selecting another axis pattern lines so to join them
have selected all the lines then i am giving control g so so another axis lines are also joined so now i'm just turning off this surface and i'm just deleting the lines which we used to draw the surface so we got the pattern so i'm just selecting this and giving the option pipe i'm giving a diameter around 2.5 0.23 so we got the pattern so now i am turning on the surface so now i am giving offset surface so which gives a three dimensional for the surface okay so while giving offset surface please check to get the solid and yes and if you want to change the direction the direction uh, where the offset has to be done you can use flip all so the direction will be outside and this is inside so i need it in inside base so i am just giving it and if you want to change the distance use t enter or else you can click d and you can change the distance but i am okay with 0.23 so i am just giving 0.23 and giving enter so the model is done but you want to close it right so i'm using cap so so we are done with the model so if you want to close it uh you can use extract wireframe because cap will not work in this so i'm just using extract wireframe i'm just deleting so so i'm just so i'm just keeping the outer surface and deleting all the other stuff which has been extracted extract wireframe gives you a 2d wireframe of the surface which you have been created so i'm just going so i'm just using join now i'm using extrude curve i'm giving a value of 0.23 i'm using ctrl j for join or else you can use this icon it's your wish and you can use it according to your comfort so i am just moving it so now i am just deleting it okay so we got the model okay we got the model it's looking similar i think so so just comment below share say your comments on the comment section about this model and share it among your friends and if you have any doubts please mention it in the comment section we will clarify as soon as possible and there are many videos are going to be posted in our youtube channel so stay tuned watch more videos in english versions and our youtube is fully for grasshopper and rhino okay thank you for watching the video tata bye bye see you on the next video